Hey gang, Comic Dave back again, finally, after, oh geez, a couple of weeks of uh, having nothing on my eBay store, and um, been busy working on this uh, this crazy Geiger counter, it's called the Cadillac, and it's, the reason why is because it's got a lot of options, and uh, you'll see uh, when I show you in a minute, but I um, wanted to show you what happened when I was uh, working on it, this is what happens when you're not careful with a pancake tube. Yeah, see? That's what happens. I was uh, working on the kit and uh, my cat came into the office and meowed and I looked over and then I set the sucker down and you never ever place this down with a mica face down. And I sat it down on a screw and pop, and sure enough, that sucker exploded and scared me and the cat. <laughs> but uh, anyways, $100 um, lesson to learn. Yeah, I just thought you'd like to see what it looked like on the inside. It's kind of neat. Looks kind of like a target. Crosshairs. But uh, anyways, here we go. It's... Uh, kit number 74 of the uh, DIY series of the Geiger counter kits and uh, this one's coming with the pelican case because uh, it's got the pancake yeah, delicate pancake so here it is and uh, got the nice fitted foam and here it is in black the Cadillac let me just show you a few things about it it's uh, for one it's done in black I've never, I haven't done a black one in a while but uh, it's got the Ludlum screen stainless steel um, nice handle and uh, wireless remote control like the other ones I've been doing in the plus plus series um, but the uh, difference between this one and the other ones is it has an SD card for uh, data logging recording and then it also has a built-in GPS which um, will put satellite coordinates onto the uh, SD card when you when you hit the log button so anyways here's a nice big power button comes on right away it uh, um, acknowledges that the, the SD card is in and then um, the date and the time comes up on the screen because that's you know of course it's logged onto the onto the uh, SD card and then you get your uh, GPS coordinates and then um, there's your CPM and your uh, USV per hour on the right and this blinking LED right here is actually um, the GPS um, status light that tells you that uh, you're zero it is zeroed in on a satellite so um, and it's blinking so it's good and then uh, right there is the uh, that's where the wireless remote control IR is and uh, we have uh, switches for um, the backlight where you can still see the display pretty nicely uh, this this display is uh, a gray background with the black type so you can still read it pretty good with the backlight off and then this button here is the um, is for writing to the SD card so whenever you push that button it'll tell you um, logged which means that it's written to the card and then the um, switch here is to turn off the beep so you just have a blinking LED the switch here is for your alarm so when you reach your threshold point if you want just a silent alarm and just the LED to come on then you, you hit the mute switch there and then this is your um, GPS um, on off switch because uh, what happens is if you're in Arduino and you need to do any customizing in your um, sketch or program you always want to load it up and uh, turn the GPS off before you load the new program and then uh, this button here is a new one. It's for uh, I've been using these smaller buttons just because I, I think they're a little nicer looking, a little smoother, 
and um, not really necessary to have a big honking momentary switch. So uh, this one here actually turns it from um, the normal display mode to dose mode. So if you hold it down, it, it goes to the timed um, scalar mode. And then over here is a new switch called the power save, which uh, when you hit that switch, when you turn it on or off, it actually turns this everything off and it's a power saving mode. So it turns off the display, it turns off the light, turns off the click. And um, what you see is just the, the blinking um, LED of the GPS and the um, LED of the events. And you turn it back on. And it's still still on. And then, um, oh yeah, on this side here is your, um, your switch for charging. So when you put the, the USB or mini USB cord in here um, to charge this unit, then all you got to do is just flip it down and it, and it charges. Uh, with it in the up position and the unit in the off position, um, it'll run this unit off just uh, USB. So I'm also including a cigarette ad adapter for free with this, the sale of this one, and um, as well as a wall charger. So uh, I'll just show you um, how sensitive this is. But um, oh, and then also it's got a uh, a three thousand. Uh, 3000 mAh lithium ion battery rechargeable. So here it is reacting to some um, Vaseline beads. Just uh, picking it up pretty good. I have it set at 150 CPM for the alarm, but see, you can see there's the alarm going off, and then there's the mute for the alarm. with the um, uh, lantern mantle and it's, it's really you know, picking that up from far away like about a foot away or even more and then here's of course the uh, cesium-137 I tuned this thing today, so it's picking it up at about uh, 45 to 50,000 CPM off of a CZM-137. Um, and I believe, yeah, I'm not sure what the uh, amount is, but um, anyways, that's just a brief demo of this unit. Um, I'm still going to run some more tests on it because uh, I just want to make sure it's nice and ready to be sold. And um, I'm going to be putting it on eBay um, sometime in the next couple of days. And I'll probably be selling two of these units, maybe three, but um, it was a hard one to build. So um, the price is going to be a little bit on the higher side than normal. So anyways, it's Atomic Dave and uh, thanks for watching.